It's like listening to trash. Who has time to listen to trash? Why would I waste time to listen to trash, right? Hello, Max Tubers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out a video of SB19 performing one of their original songs, Ika Ko, for Lazada Sing It. As explained to me in my comment section, Ika Ko means Ikao at Ako or you and me. And this was written for the frontliners who have sacrificed so much for us during this COVID-19 pandemic. It is a tribute to them. But before we play this video, reminding everyone to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. And if you are here for the very first time, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Two. You folks know the drill. If you want to watch the original video without any interruption, without my comments, please head to my description box and you'll find the original video link there. Because I will be pausing in between to give my honest opinions and observations. So without further ado, let's begin. So they are performing this from different locations as we can see and I hope this will not be too much of a challenge for them. But wait, isn't the lockdown technically lifted already? If so, why didn't they choose to perform together in one location? Hmm. But then again, why go out if you can stay at home and stay safe? Yeah, that makes sense. Better to stay home and stay safe. Pagising sa umagay tinig mo ang paborito ni di naman siguro. Is that a rooster he's using as a microphone? Oh, I get it. It's a chicken, and I remember some of Ken's fans using the term "chick Ken." Get it, chick Ken? It's a pun. So far, I'm loving the very positive lyrics just what we all need at a time like this the only thing the only thing i didn't like about this portion is that girl in the right frame perhaps she's trying to provide comic relief but i don't think it's suitable for a song like this i mean i'd love to enjoy this performance without such unnecessary distraction but that's just my preference no offense to anyone. Takot sa puso'y alisin Lahat ng to'y lilipas din Walang pagsubok na di kakayanin I think I'm hearing two voices here. One of Justin's and the other one I presume can. But is this just my imagination? Am I hearing something that is not there? Or am I actually right? Please comment down below, because only Justin's image is being shown on screen. That's why I'm doubting myself. So far, so good. Ken, Justin, and Stell all giving us solid vocals. Very nice. And the lyrics, again, are very positive, which I like a lot. 
and good thing they were able to deliver the words, the lyrics with such clarity. Otherwise, it would all be a waste. Although, there are a few uh, more formal, deeper Tagalog terms used that I do not quite understand, so I'll just research them online after to see what they mean. Can I just say again that I am so impressed by how the lyrics were written. Very well thought of. I actually like the lyrics more than the melody. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Is there only one person doing the low voicing? If anything, I wish they added a third voice, perhaps a tenor voicing to create more support uh, in the background, to create a richer overall sound. But other than that, everything sounds perfect so far. Of course, we can hear, well, sort of hear, the difference in each of their audio quality since they are not performing this in a professional recording studio. So that's perfectly fine, completely understandable. I'm actually surprised by how in sync they are with each other. Again, considering the fact that they are all doing this separately in their own homes. But wait, is this a live performance? Meaning they are broadcasting this as they were singing real time or a pre-recorded performance? Meaning after uh, they sang it, they still had time to edit it a bit before showing it to the public. Please comment down below and let me know. The raps sounded great, although honestly, the words were too fast. Too fast for me to comprehend. I just can't keep up. So I'll just again have to research the lyrics after this and read them at my own pace. Let's go back to the clip. <laughs> They really have a knack for coming up with songs that are pleasing to the ears. And I am not only pertaining to the melody, but also to the words. The words that have a lot of sense and meaning. Two of the things I hate most in songs. Number one, songs that create a lot of noise. Again, due to my age, my tolerance for noise has significantly decreased. Number two, songs with nonsensical lyrics. It's like listening to trash. Who has time to listen to trash? Why would I waste time to listen to trash, right? But this, this is a treasure.
actually the chorus kind of grows on you. A smart move, repeating it over and over and over again, because we can now sing along with it. I'm not used to seeing them perform within the confines of a limited space. Well, except for the Tila Luha rehearsal video. But props to them uh, for making an effort to come up with something, with something to visually entertain us while sharing with us a message of hope. Let's move on. I'm actually glad that Ken is doing the bass part uh, of the song, but as I mentioned earlier, I was hoping for more variations uh, when it comes to the voicing. Maybe I was just too used to having them uh, do different voicings in their other songs, that I now expect them to do it all the time. But in reality, there is nothing, nothing wrong with what they're doing. They still sound good together, and I'm just being unreasonably demanding. <laughs> The ending was a bit anticlimactic for me, but I guess due to the limitations brought about by the lockdown, they're using the existing accompaniment meant for the recorded version. Uh, and I'm sure when the time comes uh, that they need to perform this live in a show, in a concert, they can make some variations for the ending and maybe even add a bit of choreography to create a suitable and more satisfying ending. Another thing, I think a song with such positive message should have been longer. I would love it more if they did the chorus at least one more time because the song ended just when I was really getting into it. Hats off to SB19 for giving us inspiring songs. Songs with messages of hope like Ikako and Go Up. Because not everything in this world revolves around love, love for a lover. We need songs like this to uplift our fellow man. To my Max Tubers out there, if you were inspired by this song, please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to uh, leave your comments down below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are about this song. Remember to be kind and to keep your comments respectful. We can choose to agree or disagree, but it is very important for us to respect each other's perspectives. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe and happy everyone. Take care.